how early were you guys in terms of signing on to the cast? Because it is a, a big, a really great big cast. And what is that like to sort of watch it assemble around you after you've signed on or to come on after you've already, after it's already assembled? I feel like it was put together. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought I was the last piece of the puzzle, but uh, Stephanie says she was. So yeah. I, I, you know, I don't know. I thought I, the memo they sent said you were doing it. Maybe you were still, they were oh, still doing no, the you, deal. That's true. Actually, you're right, because we were actually shooting. And I remember, you're right, you're right. And I, I said it to Ricky Blit. I was like, I think Ron's going to, and he was like, what? And I thought, uh oh, I've spoken too quickly. <laughs> you're not allowed to tell each other those things on set? Uh, well, it wasn't official yet, so you should yeah, never I say. Deal, I don't think the deal was closed. Yeah. So. Now, I think as you said at the beginning of this conversation, that's the pilot. And we're in this period of time right now where uh, it's the beginning of the fall. All of these pilots are airing. And me as an interviewer, I'm watching a lot of pilots. Uh, but shows generally, 90% of the time, are better after the pilot. Absolutely. Can you talk about that a little bit? That's yeah. not to say that this pilot, this is a great, I mean, when it comes to pilots, this is a great pilot. Yeah. Uh, but shows generally because showrunners and everybody figure things out after that first pilot is done. I mean, obviously everybody, you know, everybody kind of gets up to speed. Um, but the other thing is just what's what's what you have to do for a pilot that you don't have to do for other shows. You've got to introduce all the characters. Uh, we got to tell every, you know, this is everyone's name. We got to give a nutshell of who they are, so you remember. We have to set this all up, and then we, with whatever time left, we're going to try and tell you a story that's going to give you an idea what the show is going to be about. What I love about the architecture of this show is by just starting right away with the big rock in the pond, um, we we learn about what the what these people are going through before we've met them, before we know who they are. And there's something about some, uh, when something, when an event like that happens in your life, it kind of cracks you wide open. So we meet these people at their rawest and, uh, and most vulnerable. Stephanie? Um, yeah, I, I also think that as it's, it's such a bombshell, and so it's very heavy, the pilot. And uh, as it goes on, there's a lot of lighter moments, and you get to really know these characters. So you, you're. Yeah, DJ comes from he comes from comedy. He's like has experience doing stand up. This is his first dramatic dramatic series. So uh, he's not really constrained by the things that you're supposed to do in uh, drama that has you know serious themes. I think uh, there's always a trap of like um, kind of wallowing in it. You know, let's like let's just enjoy the. Uh, his instincts are the opposite. Um, he goes straight for the gallows humor. Uh, he he deals with sort of people who want their lives to be light, light and funny, have to deal with events that are grown up problems that are not light and funny, and and it's in that clash I think that the, the we get the tone of our show as and it does unfold throughout the season. <laughs> 